Hey, it's Steve. How are you doing? You want to stop your MS fatigue? Here's how to do it. For a large portion of the past 17 years, I've lived in a mental prison called fatigue. I always called it my brain fog. A fog because I was never able to fully escape it. It was just always there, floating around me. Sometimes I could kind of see through it, but it was ever present, teasing me that it could envelop me whenever it wanted. And it did, all the time. I gave up most of my 20s and a large part of my 30s to it. But it all stopped by 2018. I can say, unfortunately, it doesn't happen overnight. There are tips to try and manage it, but I'm not talking about managing. I'm talking about stopping it altogether. I want to help you by showing you how I did it. There are the four elements I always talk about that I structure my life around. I know it's a big undertaking, and I know nobody likes to feel like they have to do anything. So it's your choice. But since you know how MS feels, you're probably going to be like me and want to stop it as well. While focusing on them are, is crucial to stop and heal MS once and for all, I give the most of my initial credit to exercise. Specifically, aerobic exercise that fights fatigue the best. Any exercise that gets the heart pumping works. I favor the rowing machine because when I first started over a decade ago, I could barely walk. And I mean barely. So running was out. Opposing motor functions between my left and right sides was to say the least poor. So riding a bike was out as well. So that left the indoor rowing machine. And that I could do. I first started doing it continuously. But over the years, as my MS progressed and my spasticity grew worse, I had to give it up. I eventually found a technique called Supra Maximal Interval Training. It calls for short periods less than a minute of all out work. When I started to feel my spasticity kick in, I would stop, catch my breath, and calm down and take a long recovery break. However long it took to get rid of the spasticity, then I would repeat it. I started with five rounds of it. Then eventually I moved to 10. And now I'm up to 50. It might sound crazy, I know. But the fatigue fades away and gives energy instead. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that it's not hard. But it's the dedication I devoted to it. Three to four times a week for years. It was just a winding path I took walk. It led me to where I am now. If you can imagine walking it, remember, I've been doing this for years and I understand. I don't have spasticity or fatigue. I don't even feel like I have MS anymore. So, you have time. Thanks for watching. And consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. Watch this video now.